Well, it's the story that just won't end, and now it's back. It's got national attention at first, and now it's actually headed for the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. You've probably heard his name by now here in the local area, 90-year-old chef Arnold Abbott. Of course, he's the World War II veteran, and he just won't give up his push to legalize feeding the homeless outdoors in Fort Lauderdale. Now, it's something he's been doing for more than two decades down at the beach. Every day, Chef Arnold and his group, Love Thy Neighbor, prepare hot meals for homeless people. And it wasn't until recently that Fort Lauderdale Mayor Jack Seiler ordered police to enforce a new law that makes it illegal to feed homeless people outdoors. Well, now Abbott heads to D.C. to meet with national lawmakers, and he's urging them to take his side. A man who has plenty of experience himself, Abbott says he still wants to learn new ideas. Abbott says, I hope to gather more information about the national homeless situation and pick up some ideas on how to improve the situation in South Florida. Now, it's important to note that just in the last seven years, more than 70 different cities all over the country have imposed similar laws that would criminalize homelessness. Now, during Abbott's visit to Washington, the Congressional Hunger Center will be recognizing Abbott as the advocate of the year. Well, who needs them more? The fight for expensive helicopters in Palm Beach County. They're called Trauma Hawks, multi-million dollar helicopters seen here used to fly search and rescue missions and often transport sick patients to and from hospitals and medical centers. Well, now some state lawmakers would take those choppers away from the health care district and give them to the sheriff's department instead. But not without a fight. Democrat Dave Kerner from Palm Springs agreed with the move. He says that the police should have the right to fly these choppers from county to county at their discretion. And most of the other speakers at Monday's meeting in Boynton Beach, they disagreed with Kerner. Dr. Alina Alonzo sits on the board of health care, and she said that Kerner's idea could blur the lines between sick patients and convicted criminals. If the police in the district can't find any alternative solutions by the middle of next month, Kerner says he's going to bring the idea back up for an official vote. Well, a couple of stories today about new fees and taxes hitting the local area. First one starts off in Boynton Beach. That's where new marina fees are driving ship captains mad. City officials suggested a new charge of $5 every day to park in the parking garage at the marina. Now, Captain Kevin Metz from Underwater Explorers there, he says the parking fine will just send customers away. He says it's just going to hurt the industry in the area. The Marine Village Condo Board owns that private parking garage, but the city says they would need to spend $54,000 a month to keep people out. They said they've had drunken problems in the area there, uh, people having sex in the parking garage. It's been a, an issue, and now they say they want to spend all this money to keep them out of the parking garage after hours. Several other business owners in the area are upset, afraid new parking fines could hurt their business. Even though it's facing harsh opposition, the city still plans to go ahead and set up the daily parking fee just two weeks into the new year. So if you're in that area, you may see some $5 a day parking fines around January 15. And then over in Palm Beach, hotel owners are raising separate concerns about a new tax. You know what they say, more money, more problems. That seems to be happening here. County commissioners are still trying to decide if they should increase the hotel tax to 6%. They call it a bed tax. Well, that vote soon takes place, and it looks like it's almost a lock. Six to one right now, those in support of the ruling. Now, according to their predictions, that minor increase in the tax would create about another $7 million in annual revenue. But where would that money go? That's one of the disputes happening now. Leaders in the Hotel and Lodging Association, they say that money should go toward the beaches and toward tourist advertising. They want the tax money to attract more customers and provide a better atmosphere when they're there. But County Commissioner Hal Valeche doubts if advertising would really be worth it. <clears throat> he suggests most people already know about Palm Beach County's beaches. I mean, Palm Beach is part of the name. And he also says advertising dollars might not be the best use of those tax dollars. On the other hand, there's a push to spend that money on cultural additions like art festivals, theaters, things of that nature. Now, earlier this year, some county officials suggested that they dip into that money to build a new spring training baseball stadium but when both sides, hotel owners and arts and culture community, expressed their anger over that idea, they quickly changed their mind. That will no, no longer happen. And in other news, it's official. Sort of, anyways. An excited announcement, as he says, from governor, former Governor Jeb Bush. On his Facebook page, Bush says, Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. Oh, by the way, I've decided to actively explore the possibility of running for President of the United States. 
Bush says he finally decided to explore that possibility of running for the White House while eating good food and watching, quote, a whole lot of good football with his family during Thanksgiving. Isn't that sweet? He also set up a leadership political action committee next month that he says will expand opportunity and prosperity for Americans. All the right buzzwords is in there. Now, political analysts believe that Bush could do something that very few Republicans have been able to accomplish in recent years, and that is attract a solid voter base in the Latino community. As most of you probably already know, Bush's wife, Columba, was born in Mexico, and Bush himself speaks fluent Spanish. Now, while this social media announcement stops just shy of announcing an official run for president, it's likely this was a sort of shout out to political donors that he is serious about running and maybe a message that says, hey, don't get too heavily invested in other candidates because he plans to run.